Hi everybody, it's Gemma, welcome back to Pampered Wolf. Today I'm going to be talking all about what I think are the best and the worst products that I have reviewed during 2018. So if you are interested in finding out what they are, then please keep watching. Okay, so firstly, let me just say there is no skincare during this best and worst of 2018 video because I didn't review any skincare really during this year. That will change in 2019. And in fact, I get asked all the time to post skincare regime videos. Both myself and my mum are going to do one in the very, very near future. So if you are interested in knowing both our skincare regimes, so somebody in their 40s and somebody in their mid 60s, then please do stick around for that one. I'm not quite sure when those videos are going to be made live, but they are definitely on the sheet of videos to be filmed in the very near future. So stick around in January and February if you want to see those videos. But let's get cracking with this one. The first product that is in my best of, because we're gonna do the positives first and then maybe slide into the negatives a little bit later on because I don't like to be a negative Nancy, but some of these products really need to be mentioned. Anyway, I have probably repurchased the Bare Minerals Oil Obsessed Cleanser about five times in the last 18 months. This is one of those products that I will purchase again and again and again. Now there are other oil cleansers that you can buy that are cheaper than this and just as good, but I just really, really like this. I love the smell. It just smells like a spa. It smells so luxurious and it does the job and I only have to use one product. This is £22 in the UK, £23.50 in the US, worth every penny as far as I'm concerned. But again, if you can't stretch to this, there are other oil cleansers that are just as good at the job. They just don't feel as luxurious and I'm into a bit of luxury, not gonna lie. Okay, so I constantly, constantly get asked, what are my top five foundations? Or what is my top foundation? I can never answer that question, I'm so sorry. I'm a little bit of a foundation freak. I have about 75 to 100 foundations in my drawer. I don't use all of them. I'm not that much of a freak, really not. But I do use a handful of those products and I swear by quite a few of them. So in the very near future, I promise, I am going to do my top five foundations of all time it might creep into top 10 foundations because I really will struggle. But the foundations that I'm gonna mention in this video, because I've got to have a foundation in this video, I have reviewed so many foundations in 2018, so at least one has to be in the best of 2018. The foundations that I'm going to add into the best category are the CYO Long Lasting Foundation and the Estee Lauder Double Wear Light. Now, these two are completely at opposite ends of the spectrum when it comes to price. The CYO is £7.50 in the UK, $7 in the US. And the Estee Lauder Double Wear Light is £34 in the UK or $42 in the US. Now, these are absolutely amazing foundations. The CYO gives a dewy but natural finish. It's really hydrating on the skin, gives a medium coverage, and it's super, super cheap. My mum tried this out on the colour correcting video, which we actually filmed yesterday, and she loves it. She's gonna buy this the next time she actually runs out of foundation, so. This is definitely going into the best pile. The Double Wear Light is one of my all time faves. I actually reviewed it in, I think it was either September or October of this year. This is an absolutely amazing foundation. It's light enough that it doesn't go cakey, but it sticks in place and does not move. This gives a demi matte finish. It comes in 28 different shades and if you have a more mature skin but you're wanting a matte foundation this is hydrating this is amazing and this does not sink into your fine lines and wrinkles that's enough there just to put it in the best of pile the next product that's going in the best of 2018 pile has to be the elf ultra precise brow pencil i absolutely am in love with this brow pencil and it's six pounds or five dollars in the US. It comes in eight different shades. It's so, so easy to use. The shade that I go for is Cool Brown. I actually thought I'd found a bargain using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil, which is, by the way, 
absolutely fine as well. That was my favorite before I found the e.l.f. ultra precise brow pencil. But that's £10 and this is six, so really you can't go wrong. I love this. You get a little spoolie on the end, you get the pencil that comes out of the bottom, you get loads of product, it doesn't run out really quickly. I love it. And at the moment, I don't have a spare, so I'm starting to get a few palpitations thinking about what I'm going to do when it runs out. The next product that I absolutely loved during 2018 was by Charlotte Tilbury and it's the Magic Away Liquid Concealer. Now, there are a couple of negatives about this product before we go into all the positives. The first negative is you get very, very little product for the amount of money that you spend on it, but it's a beautiful product. Just getting that in. It's lovely and I love this. The other negative is that if you apply just a little bit too much of this product, it does crease. But if you apply the right amount, this tends to stretch on the skin rather than creasing. But I have noticed that if I go a little bit crazy with this in the morning, if I feel like I need a little bit of extra coverage and add just a tad too much of this, it does tend to move and crease. So that is one of the negatives of this product. Well, two of them. Costs a lot of money for the amount of product that you get. And also it can crease if you apply too much. But if you apply the right amount, this really does stretch underneath the eye. It's absolutely beautiful, gives medium coverage. It's really hydrating. It's great for more mature skin as long as you apply the right amount. And it's just a really luminous glow. This is perfect if you are wearing no foundation because this looks so skin-like and natural. It blends so beautifully into fair skin. So this is £24 in the UK, $32 in the US. I don't actually use this every day. This is not one of the ones that I reach for on a daily basis. I love my MAC Pro Longwear in the shade NC20. This is the one that I generally reach for on a daily basis because I find that you can use the smallest amount and it doesn't crease as long as you treat it right. But this is absolutely stunning and I didn't review that this year. So really I can't put that in the best things that I've reviewed in 2018 because I haven't reviewed it. Anyway, this is an amazing, amazing concealer. My mum uses this. It's just beautiful, really luminous, gorgeous. Okay, so moving on to eyeshadow palettes. There are two eyeshadow palettes that I reviewed in 2018 that I reach for all the time. One is the ABH Sultry palette. I love this palette. I think it's really versatile. However, I do feel like I've got a lot of these shades already. They're not groundbreaking. They're beautiful shadows, they blend really nicely, but because I think I have a lot of these shades already, even though I reach for this all the time, I can't put this in the best of 2018, but I wanted to mention it because it is a beautiful palette. The one that is going in my best of 2018 is the Huda Beauty Nude palette. I absolutely adore this palette. And the reason it's going in the 2018 best of pile is these shadows are revolutionary. She has some chunky metallic shades in here which are absolutely stunning. And I have never ever had anything like it on my lid. Now I was a little bit disappointed when I first reviewed this palette that they are very, very pink. Even the ones that look quite brown they look very pink on the lid, but it's very, very versatile. You can use this in the daytime and create a beautiful day look, or you can zhuzh it up and really go quite vibrant for an evening look. I used this on my mum yesterday, so it's great for all ages. She looked stunning. So even though this is probably the most expensive product that I ever bought to review on my channel in 2018, it's £56 in the UK, $65 in the US, which is so expensive. It really is so expensive. And I completely understand that a lot of people who subscribe to my channel just cannot stretch themselves to spending that much on an eyeshadow palette. So I did um and ah about whether this one should go into my best of category for 2018. But the shadows are so revolutionary, they're so beautiful, they're so easy to blend that it just had to go in. So it's going in. 
Okay, so sticking with the eye theme, my favourite mascara that I have ever reviewed on my channel, and I have reviewed quite a few, is the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lashes Volume 2 Mascara. Now, I have purchased this probably three times since I reviewed it. It's a beautiful product. It does last a really long time, but I use it a lot, a lot. I got really upset when I was out of this product and it was out of stock everywhere. I couldn't find it anywhere. And it was really quite upsetting because I went back to something else and I got quite a lot of breakages in my lashes, which I never got when I was using this product. So this is really, really moisturizing. It's really hydrating. It's really volumizing and also lengthening. And I love it. I absolutely love it. So it is quite a pricey product. It's Charlotte Tilbury and all her products are quite pricey but I absolutely adore this product. It's £25 in the UK, $32 in the US, and I mean, I am gonna purchase this again when this one runs out. In fact, hopefully they'll have a sale on in January and I'll pick up a couple to have in the drawer. Okay, so moving on to something slightly cheaper. This was one of the first reviews that I did in 2018. This is the Wonder 2 Superstay Liner. I've used this all year and it's the same product hardly gone down at all. Now, usually I tight line with this particular liner. I've got it also on the underneath of my lash line at the bottom. I've also got it, actually I don't have it in the tight line today, but usually I do tight line with this particular liner. I've tried out so many different liners this year and none of them are as good as this one. So this is £13.95 in the UK, $14.95 if you're in the US. It comes in so many different shades. So there are eight metallic shades, there are seven glitter shades, and there are six shades that are your everyday essential shades. So like black, brown, blue, that sort of thing. So this is a really, really good liner. It's lasted me such a long time and I've had it for ages absolutely ages. Okay, so the next product that's going in the best of category, and this may surprise quite a few of you because I did a full face of the body shop not so long ago, and there were very, very few products that I liked. In fact, it's fair to say that I hated most of them. They were awful, absolutely awful. But this one, I love and if you have a look in the description box in quite a lot of my videos I always list all the makeup that I've been wearing during that video. This one features quite heavily in the description box of a lot of videos. I really really like this bronzer. It's a really nice shade. This is the 03 bronzer from The Body Shop. It's 14 pounds in the UK. At the moment, it's on sale in the US for $14. It used to be $20. It's an absolute bargain. I use this every single day, most of the time. And I also reapply it if I'm going out that night. And it's lasted, I've not even hit pan yet. It's a lovely, lovely bronzer and it's definitely going in my best of 2018. The next product that's going into the best of 2018 category is another super cheap product. I have no idea how these companies are creating such great value for money products that are seriously, seriously good. This is another product by e.l.f. This is their bronzer slash contour slash blusher duo pack. This is in the shade Fiji, but this comes in three different shades. It's five pounds in the UK, it's four dollars in the US, and it is worth every single penny. I have this on today, absolutely love it. Moving on to lipsticks, every time I wear this lipstick, I get so many different comments of what lipstick are you wearing, what shade is that, it's so, so nice. I love this lipstick. In fact, I love all the colors in this particular lipstick that I own. And over the January period, when hopefully quite a few of them are gonna be on sale, I am gonna go and get a few more shades because they have such a good shade range. This is the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lip. And the shade that I have on today is called Babe Alert. Oh yes. 
This is a matte liquid lipstick, so it can be a little bit drying. Sometimes I put a moisturizing lip topper over the top of this, or I really, really take care of my lips at night and in the morning before I apply this, otherwise it might dry them out a little bit too much. But this comes in 37 different shades, which is absolutely vast. Amazing, amazing shade range. This is £19 in the UK or $24 in the US, and it lasts forever. It's really, really beautiful. The applicator is lovely. It's really, really easy to use. It holds just enough product and you don't need a lip liner when you're using this product because it's really accurate and you get a really nice precise line. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And it's definitely going into my favorites pile. I also love, 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 love the Bobbi Brown Extra Lip Tints. These are so lush. They really are so moisturizing, they're hydrating, they're just oh, glorious on the lips. Now, I have put these up as far as they can go and as you can see, I am down to next to nothing. I really need to repurchase these and they are on my January list of things to look at, see if they are on sale because they are pricey. These are £25.50 in the UK or $34 in the US. But I wear these all the time. If I'm having a no makeup makeup day, I just put a little bit of this on. It's just a little bit of tint on the lip and it's like wearing a lip balm all day that stains the lip. I just, oh, gorgeous. Really, really super, super product. I just wish it was a little bit cheaper, but it has to go into my favorites pile. The last product that is going into my favorites pile for 2018, and this is such a nice product. This was sent to me by a lady called Serena Grant who owns a hair salon. She actually puts packages up of like little tasters so that you can taste, diff not, not really taste. I mean, you don't wanna taste them. You wanna put them on your hair. It might not be a good idea to actually taste them. But anyway, they are bigger than sample sizes, so they're like minis and she puts loads into a box for you depending on what hair type you've got and sends them out to you and they are such good value for money. I think they're around about £29.95 or 99 and you can get them wherever you are in the world. Now, this product was actually included in one of her boxes and it's a full size item and I use this all the time. I have never smelled anything like it. It's a perfume for the hair, it's absolutely gorgeous. This is the Goldwell Kerasilk Reconstruct Beautifying Hair Perfume. It's absolutely lush. One website was actually selling this for $27.99. Oh, you just feel like you have left the salon after you have spritzed this over your hair. It just smells divine. And I use this all the time, especially if I've been cooking something for the kids, I don't have time to get into a shower and I feel like maybe my hair's taken on some of the smells of whatever cooking I've been doing, especially if I've been frying onions off or something and I have to pop out and see somebody. Just a little bit of spritz of this. This has been a godsend for me because I just don't have enough time to have three showers in a day. I really don't. So this has saved me so many times and I love it. it. Smells glorious. Okay, so let's just move on to the bad stuff. I don't like being negative. I really should have done this at the beginning to get it out of the way and then we could have finished on a bit of a high. That was bad planning, wasn't it? Bad, bad planning. Anyway, we've got to talk about the negative stuff because there's been loads of negatives during this year. The body shop video was a severe negative for me. I'm not gonna go through every single product because most of them were rubbish. But if you do want to go and have a look at that review, I will link it up here for you if you want to know what I hated during that review because there were quite a few. So anyway, I'm gonna move on to the other stuff. There were quite a few products that gave me skin reactions this year and I'm not gonna talk about those specific products because it might not be the fault of the product, it might just be my skin. I do have sensitive skin, it does break out a lot, so we're just gonna leave those products to one side and I'm just gonna talk about the products that I just think are bad. Bad, bad, bad. The first product that I absolutely hated 
it's not going to be a popular choice it's the revolution conceal and define foundation i know a lot of people absolutely loved this product i didn't my mum didn't it's not great for maturing skin it goes a bit cakey it's very thick doesn't look very nice on the skin it's very drying i mean i could go on I really didn't like it. So the second product is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation. This looked really nice on my skin for around about two to three days and then problems started happening left, right and center. This is a very drying foundation. So if you have mature skin or you have dry skin, this is one to avoid like the plague. My skin didn't feel nice after day three. It felt really rough. There were lots of dry patches that weren't there to begin with. This sinks into any dry patches that were already there. The one really good thing about this foundation is the shade range is vast. It really is. NYX are a really inclusive brand. I am not knocking them at all. One of my favorite products is their eyebrow pencil. They've got some lovely, lovely products. Unfortunately, this just is not one of them for me. The next product that I absolutely hated it's a really strong word that, isn't it? But I'm gonna use it again. I hated this product. And this is gonna be quite controversial because again, I know loads of people swear by this product and L'Oreal are one of those brands that are supposed to be fantastic for maturing skin. And this just was not at all. This sank into every single dry patch. Any pores that it sank into, the product actually went really pale or white inside the pore. So I looked like my pores were humongous when I was wearing this. I tried it out on my mum thinking that this was just me and it looked just as terrible on her as it did on me. I have no idea what I was doing wrong with this foundation. I tried it every single which way. I tried applying moisturizer into it as well, but it just nothing worked. I really didn't like this product. And after I posted the video and said how much I disliked it, so many people commented saying that they had exactly the same experience too. So this is going in the bad pile. The final foundation slash tinted moisturizer that is going in the worst products that I reviewed in 2018 category is the Bonjour Nadista by L'Oreal. This is like a tinted moisturizer or a BB cream. It was awful. It was awful absolutely awful this was like having a moisturizer mixed with a powder but the powder separated from the moisturizer and went really cakey when you were putting it on your skin i had patches that looked like they had nothing on and then i had patches that were really lumpy and textured and just hideous absolutely hideous i mean usually i will take one for the team and i will go out looking an absolute mess just to test out a foundation but after I'd put this on, I had to take it straight off again. It looked so awful. It's definitely going in the worst pile. This is probably one of the worst products that I have tried out all year. Awful, horrid. Now I am denied on whether to actually put this product in the worst product list because the product itself is actually okay. It's back in the packaging now because I'm sending this back the quality of the packaging is so poor that I actually cannot use this product. This is the Legendary Brows by Charlotte Tilbury and the interior mechanism that you actually pull the applicator out with that takes all the excess products off the brush and the applicator. It just keeps coming out so it doesn't work. That's so, so poor so so poor so this is going back and i think that makes it worthy of putting it in the worst products pile even though the actual product itself is it's quite decent but because of the quality of the packaging and i don't know whether this has happened to everybody else or whether i may have just got a bad batch i'm not going to be buying this again i'm just not I'm going to put my foot down not having it the next product that's going on the naughty list this year is the e.l.f. HD Concealer. Now this is in the shade Fair. Honestly, if you haven't seen that video, I will link it up here for you to watch because I have never seen anybody with this shade skin in my entire life. It's like a biscuit color, like a gray color. And this oxidized almost immediately after it went on my skin and went to like a gray orangey color 
it was awful. The one positive about this is that I put it underneath my eyes and it didn't crease. It didn't crease all day. I mean, it looked hideous, but it didn't crease. So this is going in the worst pile. The last product that's going in the naughty bin is actually by Revolution Pro. This is a bit of a gut wrencher for me because I, I really liked this product. The product itself is amazing, fantastic, does the job. This is the Micro Brow Pencil by Revolution Pro. It's a really, really nice product. So why is it going in the worst list, you ask? I hear you. This lasted two weeks and then it ran out. Two weeks. Now I think it was something like four pounds, so you think, wow, it's four pounds. What great value for money. Well, not if you're not getting very much product. I think the actual product length was about this much, which meant that I ran out pretty quickly. I actually thought the product had broken on the inside because I didn't think they would ever put that small amount of product in here, but no, nope, I had it open. There was no more product in here. That was it. Two weeks worth for four pounds. So it would have been far more cost effective if I'd have bought a more expensive one from maybe Maybelline or NYX or e.l.f. and had a lot more product. I was so, so disappointed with this and Revolution do this quite a lot. Their products are really, really cheap, so a lot of people buy them, but if you actually look at the amount of product that you get, it's not that cheap. Overall, it's a great product. It's just super expensive for the amount of product that you get. Just not worth it. So I hope you've really enjoyed finding out what I think are the best and the worst products that I reviewed during 2018. I cannot wait to start reviewing things and making videos in 2019 for everybody. Hope everybody's found this useful in some way. If you have, please do give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget, I'm also on Instagram as well if you want to follow me on there. It's Pampered Wolf, all lowercase, no spaces. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well. There is a watermark in this corner. If you click on it, it will take you through to my homepage where you can subscribe. See you all in 2019. Happy New Year. Bye.